How's it going? This is Easy Things to Draw, and this is another kind of out and about drawing people video. I gotta be careful filming in the car because it's illegal to talk on the phone, and they're gonna think I'm talking on the phone. So, uh, basically, today I'm going to UCSD, and I'm visiting a friend of mine who, uh, who goes to school there. And uh, that's kind of the gist of it, really. While I'm there, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna draw people. You know, I'm only gonna see her for like an hour. You know, the other the other amount of time I'm going to be there drawing people. So uh, let's go along this adventure. One of the things about this school, though, is it's kind of it's 30 minutes from my house, which isn't a big deal, right, for me because I'm used to driving everywhere. I live in a really southern part of San Diego, but uh, I guess for no, maybe normal people that'd be like, ah, it's a long time to drive, really, just for this. But uh, you know, I enjoy it, and uh, let's get this video started. This is Toki. Say hello, Toki, to everybody. Toki's a Pomeranian. She is about seven years old. And, uh, yeah, she doesn't want to talk right now. Anyways, that's my dog, so. Alright. So, basically what I did was I went around I actually went to uh, the student center inside of uh, UCSD and I I sat there and I didn't actually film where I was looking at this time because I was kind of afraid well, I don't know people kind of look at you weird when you aim a camera at their direction so what I did was just kind of you know <clears throat> set up shop right there on the table on my own and uh, what I usually do is I actually set up my tripod to record over me you know what I mean and it's actually a really difficult setup. I wish I could find an easier setup, to be honest. I'm going to try to build something to make it easier for me. Uh, but for now, this will work. And uh, sorry for the lighting situation. This girl was, as I remember, this girl was speaking to a friend at a table. She was at the table of three of the people. And uh, she was telling this ridiculous story about, I think, going to the movies on a date or something like that. I was kind of eavesdropping, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't help but eavesdrop. And uh, as I'm drawing her, I, I'm i kind of trying to figure certain things out. I noticed something about her eye when she was looking. Her eyelashes are a little bit bigger than I think I drew them. I should have thrown that in there. It's a very big character trait. And I'm continuing to just kind of noodle around with the face. I'm really thinking about how the features come together. And uh, that's kind of a big part of it, you know. I'm not so much worried about her hair right now, even though I should be worried about her hair shape. Her hair shape does have to do a lot with her character. And uh, continuing to go in. I just want to make sure the eye and the nose area works within the drawing. Continuing to push it. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, because what will happen is I'll start doing something. If it doesn't immediately look like them, I'll kind of try to figure out what it is that's making it not look like them. Usually it has to do with something around the, the laugh line, around the cheek area. Going to her hair, she had kind of curly hair. And uh, trying to get her hairline down. I originally put it a little bit too far back. Continuing to go down into the, the long portion of her hair. And uh, she never really looked at me. Some people tend to look around. They almost feel you watching them in a way, which is interesting. Um, but uh, I've been to school, I've been to this school many times. Uh, UCSD is where my cousin, or Different people I know go, uh, I believe have family members that go there. And uh, yeah, so I've been here a lot. It's uh, it's a little difficult though to talk and to draw. So I tend when I tend to draw people, if I, even though if I have friends on campus, I, I just kind of don't tell them I'm showing up. You know what I mean? I don't really visit them. And that's just a choice thing. I have a problem separating my social life with uh, my drawing ability sometimes. Sometimes I'm just in my head when I'm drawing and that'll make me feel you know quieter when I actually do uh, meet people uh, friends of mine are on campus I just won't be as open I notice I gotta do one or the other either I'm gonna go to be social or I'm gonna go to draw alright this one's a little weird uh, I wanted to kinda uh, throw kind of a vignette another vignette on the page I wanted to use up the page and uh, 
I started drawing this girl sitting at a table. Uh, it's a girl with, uh, I believe, like a male friend or something. They're doing homework. This girl is moving a lot. She was moving a lot, a lot, but I was taking it as a challenge. I'm like, all right, I'm going to try this out. And she had her hand on her forehead at one point, kind of leaning over. And I was trying to capture that. Uh, in reality, I should have gone faster. Uh, I sped this video up maybe by two times, I think. Nothing, not too quick. Uh, continue to kind of push it. I was trying to speed it up, but I wasn't as warmed up as I wanted to be. And I was. she had a very difficult type. What, the only thing I remember was her nose was really uh, kind of large and pointy. That was something that really stood out to me. And especially angling down, you know, the nose kind of hangs over a little bit differently as uh, you see the head hanging down. And I continue to go into her eye, and I'm like, okay, at this point, I feel like, all right, sums up. I, I'm, I'm mixing, I'm messing up somewhere, so I'm going to try to go back to what I know and kind of structure the head out a little bit. Oh, I remember. And uh, what happened here was she got up and left <laughs> as I was doing that. And so I was like, okay, I'll just let that go and I'll finish it in my sketchbook later on. And that was uh, going to be the original plan. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of pretty much how it went. I, I kind of went back to a little bit to kind of fix the hair. But uh, ultimately I ended up giving up again and just going back. Uh, so when she got up and left, uh, the person at her table, table was still there. And I kind of started drawing him as well. He's looking away from me. There's really no chance he's going to know I'm drawing him. And, you know, usually when you're drawing some, from, somebody from behind, the biggest movement comes from kind of the angle of their neck. They're going to either, like, crouch down a little bit more and, like, slump down, or they're going to kind of slump up a little bit. Usually it's coming from the neck, but the angle of their face usually stays the same in terms of how far away he's looking at me. And I remember having a really difficult time with this, too. I just kind of was struggling. I'm like, all right, this guy's looking too far, and then, you know, I just couldn't get his type right. One of my favorite things to do when I'm out is to uh, kind of people watch for a little bit without drawing them. And I would just kind of watch them and study their features. So kind of get ready. I know that helps me a lot. I'm doing the back of his head there. Kind of looks like a little bit of a flat top. And... Uh, All right, this next page was, uh, I want to draw a girl with her computer and, you know, like the table and everything. That was kind of one of my big goals. I'm like, I want to draw the setting around th this person. And for whatever reason, people were staring at me on this one. <laughs> I sat on a small table also in the student center, and people were just kind of like staring at me like, what are you doing? Because I had this tripod up with a camera, but then the camera was aimed down. You know, it wasn't aimed at anybody in particular. So I didn't feel like I was doing anything wrong, and you just kind of sit there. Uh, you know, I've heard stories of other artists drawing people and they get stared at or, or offended because they know that you're staring at them, drawing them. I've never had that happen to me, ever. I, excuse me, I'm yawning. I don't know how that could happen in all honesty. So uh, when I was working on this drawing, I was thinking pretty, pretty simply about just kind of the pose. Uh, I knew every little thing would matter a little bit more. I could mess up more because... Uh, they're turned away from me. Uh, I could just lower her arm or, you know, she's wearing a kind of a sweater thing as well. So I feel like I had a lot more margin, you know, for of error. I could, I could, you know, be a little more free. Uh, the stuff I wasn't so free with was uh, the table, the construct, the uh, the angle. the And I got a little bit of the perspective wrong on the chair that she's on. So I just kind of forgive me about that. And... Uh, I drew her until she uh, got up and left as well, eventually. Uh, I was looking at the stuff on our computer, too. It's just random uh, <laughs> random Facebook junk. And uh, I like to target people that are sitting there look very rested. Because you know they're going to be there for a while, most likely. If someone's eating, I tend to notice that they're going to get up pretty soon and leave. So I tend not to pick people that are eating. I continue to draw her leg. And uh, I knew once she got up and left, I'd still be able to draw the, the table and the chair. And 
that's pretty much what I started doing. I think she ended up leaving, and uh, what I started doing was I started going into the chair a little bit, kind of fixing my line weight, you know what I mean? Which is what I should have done for every process of this video. I ended up drawing, like, uh, four people this day. I forget how many, I forget how long they were. Uh, I was there for a little bit. But it's it's really fun to do that. The school is pretty big, and the school has, like, several bars on campus. It was... You know, it, it's really been a place that I've been to on and off for years because I've had so many friends there. School's kind of nerdy, though. You know, generally a nerdy school, not a party school at all. Very nerdy. Uh, th their parties are okay uh, from the past that I remember. Continuing with my line weight, uh, because uh, I would say, like, a good suggestion in the way I'm going to try to do it from now on would be to lightly, you know, lightly draw something pretty quick and then uh, go into it. And this is close to the line weight it ended up with. I was trying to fix the perspective there and I just couldn't do it. I was like, ah, forget about it. It was just like, this is a sketch. Continuing to go into it and just continue to, to kind of fiddle around with perspective. Hey, you guys, if you guys actually go out and uh, Go explore and, and go draw people. You should uh, videotape yourselves as well. And also, if anybody has ideas on how to do it easy, how to set it up, let me know. Because for me, that my setup, like I said earlier in the video, was a tripod. And then I put a little contraption that, that you know holds my camera. But I, I find it very difficult to set up. I need something a lot quicker. So that's the second day I went out. This is a UCSD. And uh, yeah, really fun, fun school. You know, like I said, well, not really. Like, it's fun in terms of the amount of people. There's a lot of people. It's a big university. And uh, they actually had an art event on campus. What they had was a few different graffitis. Uh, they set up some boards, in which I got some pictures right here. They set up a few boards, and they had different people uh, spray whatever kind of graffiti they wanted on it. Just anybody, you know. And then people were going over that with more graffiti. And it was a lot of fun. I ended up trying to do something, but it got covered up by the time I could take photos of it. And I, I didn't really do anything special. I didn't. I never graffitied in my life. I would love to try graffiti. Would love to try graffiti. Anyways, guys, fun day. Really artistic day. Went out there and uh, let me let me know if you guys uh, you guys do the same. So, anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Subscribe, share this video, and uh, I'll talk to you later.